In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best way to blitz post patch, post AP update for maximum effect in terms of your ability to be able to play the best defense possible right now in Madden 23. Now we're gonna be in the 46 defensive playbook. If you wanna get my 46 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it's gonna get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now that being said, I do believe that the best defense post AP patch is still the $3.2 defense. And we're gonna be utilizing this defense in a little bit of a nuanced way uh, to be able to not only create great pressure, uh, good run defense, but also great coverage in behind it. And we actually just dropped a super deep dive into dollar, kind of using it to teach a little bit more conceptually about the bigger picture in terms of defense and Madden every single year. So if you want to get access to all of that material, again, that's in the Patreon. Uh, but obviously, I think this is the best way to be defending tight. I think it's the best way really to defend any offense right now. And it is because of the AP discounts that come with having zone coverage corners uh, and also some of the multiplicity that we can provide within dollar. Now, that being said, your coaching adjustments, what you want to do real quick is you want to make sure that your auto alignment is going to be set to base your ball in air defense is going to be set to play receiver we want to have as many ko's as possible i'm going to talk about where to put those abilities here in just a second and then option defense you can go on conservative and i like to put my zone coverage on match if i'm on next gen all right, so dollar three, two, real quick. So what we want to do is these, um, we're really going to be trying to cover um, a pretty significant amount of the field with four key players. And this is why I think dollar is better than nickel because nickel is going to require five players for coverage. Whereas with dollar, um, our fifth player in coverage can kind of be a little bit of a, a versatile option. So um, what we're going to do is at the safety position, we're going to have corners that have deep out zone knockout as well as deep route knockout. And if possible, this is why Deion Sanders is the best corner in the game, in my opinion, still for dollar, mid zone knockout. So you want deep out zone knockout, deep route KO, and mid zone knockout if possible um, here in these two positions. And then on the outside, really all you need is deep out zone knockout and pick artists. So um, really your primary cover players are going to be in the middle of the dollar defense and these are the guys that are going to make everything go if you do have any extra ap um, putting a deep route ko at one of the linebacker positions is very helpful as well okay so db fire 2 is the base defense and the setup for the blitz is we're going to press and then we're just going to walk these safeties down and what you're going to see is this is going to literally scream off of the edge. You're going to get really good pressure off of one, if not both, of the edges. Now, one quick tip that I would really recommend is get these guys about 8 uh, to 10 yards off. And then really you want to kind of use a right over the center because you're trying to suck that guard into the animation just like that. And it's going to get you the double edge pressure. Now, the reason the double edge pressure is really important, especially against tight, is if they block a running back or they go play action this is also why i like to pass comment if you um also with akx vectors not being a big deal anymore people aren't going to be running the ball as much so you should be able to pass commit and get um you know what you're seeing me get right here with the pressure now from a coverage perspective the beauty of this defense is because we have ko's on our our back four players you know, we could do something like this where we're going to put a third to the wide side of the field, a middle third of that safety. We're going to drop this guy into a hard flat, and then we're going to use her on this guy right here. And this is pretty good field coverage in terms of we're going to force everything back into the middle of the field. Now, if you do this specific adjustment, especially against gun tight, what you want to do is you want to shade your coverage. Um, I like to shade it over top while I'm making these adjustments. And then I want to make sure that I still have that hard flat. I want that hard flat on the right. Um, and really this right here is really good for um, you know maybe a concept like this because basically you're lurking in the middle of the field so you're going to get over here and that cloud flat has a decent chance and again that's where our deep out zone knockout is going to come in handy and uh, and will typically be able to make a play so I like to shade um, outside and over top and then put this guy on the right in a hard flat and you see how quickly I can set this up. You can set this up relatively quickly once you kind of know what you're doing. And the pressure is coming in so hot that it's hard for them to uh, get anything open downfield. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is how to use these safeties and man coverage. So let's say we want to utilize this guy. Now what we're going to do, a little bit more of a coverage variation, uh, but we know how good the outside third is going to be on the right side of the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically take this safety and we're going to man him up onto that tight end. We're gonna man the other safety up on the other receiver just like that. 
And then what I like to do typically is I'll take that left side linebacker, man him up over there on that um, on that outside receiver, and then I'll take my my slot here and I can man him up on that on that right side guy. So you see, we're still sending five, and we still have bracket coverage on both outsides. And then typically they'll block, they'll start to block their running back, especially um, you know if you're able to consistently get pressure and give them some trouble. So now what they're going to do is they're blocking their running back. They think we're in zone. Now we're kind of in more of a man look. And you see that with the KOs, it's going to help us even if we do get beat in man coverage. So this is the best way, in my opinion, to run defense post-patch because you're baseline press, so they're never going to be able to know like if you're in man or if you're in zone. And if you use your adjustments right, you can really uh, trick your opponent um, into throwing you know bad reads all over the field. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire uh, 4 6 defensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. $10 will get you access to everything over there. Thanks for watching the video. You can join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.